It's time to pack this whole apartment up. Ah! I have a lot to do, but guess what I'm gonna go do right now instead? Me turning around and looking for a clock. I don't like have a clock. Where's my phone? Nice. Okay, it's 11:55. Broadway movers come to move all of my furniture out on Thursday. When I tell you that I have so much to do today, Tuesday, Wednesday, it is unbelievable. I am going to celebrate this weekend like it's the end of the world after this is all said and done. But I have something to like look forward to in the middle of the week so that I don't lose my mind. There's this White Fox party. They're doing a White Fox turns 10 party Wednesday night, which is hilariously the night before I move Thursday morning. And what am I gonna do? I am definitely going to the party. But White Fox does these gifting suites in downtown LA the days leading up to parties like this. And I didn't think I was gonna have time to go at all today because I need to get my life together, but I'm gonna get my life together and go there at the same time because they gave us Uber voucher codes. I'm packing my computer up and bringing it. I would love to wear a cute purse, but no, we're gonna multitask. And I'm gonna edit an entire brand deal and upload a video while I'm in the car. Go pick out some cute outfits and then come home and pack some cute outfits, I guess. Honestly, I'm just excited for this Uber ride because I just wanna get outside for a little bit before I'm indoors here for a very long time. I'm gonna change my jeans. The way that I could not have just changed my outfit anymore if I tried. I was like gonna change my shoes or jeans and we ended up doing the whole thing, but you know what? I feel cuter and I think this week, to not lose my mind, one of the main things I need to be focusing on is just doing my makeup, trying to look cute, and I think that's it. All right, it's time to go to downtown LA and get some new cute outfits. Woohoo! Talk about a multitasking queen. Wow. Um, so downtown LA is just an absolute hoot and a holler to me. But I got everything that I needed to get done, done in my Uber. Yay, go me. Huh. I felt like London tipped in saying that for some reason. Anyways, I got out at White Fox. Here I am walking into the building. Here I am shaking my head. Don't know why. And then I was in the gifting suite. Oh my god. I really just live for these gifting suites so much. The girlies that work for White Fox are always so nice and I just adore them. They always have such cute clothes to pick from. They had drinks, snacks, a DJ, an incredible room rooftop view. Then I was in line with the items that I picked. I totally forgot to show you guys what exactly I got, but that's because I needed to get home and focus on the absolute monstrosity that was my living room. What is this mess? Like, actually, what is going on here? I swear, the last week of me living at this apartment, I just said, hey, fuck it. Oh yeah, here's some PR that I came home to, by the way. This perfume, I have been getting compliments whenever I wear it 24-7 now. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And Elemis is my favorite skincare brand right now. Their moisturizer, I swear to God, has cleared my skin so much. I swear by this moisturizer, and I will not use another moisturizer right now. Okay, back to the mess. Um, my room. Let's talk about it. Once again, the last week, or more like the last month of living at this apartment, I gave up. Like, Caitlin, can we please get rid of the dead flowers that are rotting on your dresser, please? That would be awesome. My bathroom looked like it was brewing like 45 new diseases that we need to alert authorities about. And then here I am finally being useful and starting to pick up my mess. What is better than a time lapse of me cleaning? Nothing, actually. Most of the clothes on my floor were actually new clothes that I just didn't want to put away in my closet because you know when you get new clothes and you just want to look at them because whenever I get new clothes I just put them in a corner of my room and pick from that pile every single day when I'm trying to pick out an outfit I don't know <laughs> goodbye literally what <laughs> it's not working it's only focusing on my hand there we go no fuck I lost it all right we're off to a good start here we have three boxes kind of packed maybe setting up boxes is so satisfying I don't really know why it's kind of fun maybe I like building things maybe I should start building things more oh yeah I was also watching murder mystery on Netflix that is the best Netflix movie ever in case you haven't seen it packing all of my shoes and my boots was such a humble experience because I think I filled up about six boxes of just boots. Just boots. I'm not even talking about heels. Like, that's crazy, Caitlin. Get a grip. I think I filled up a box and a half with my bags, too. I gave up for the night after that, and then here I am the next day, starting my morning off with a walk. I'm trying to be a fitness queen these days, you guys. You're gonna hear more about that in the next vlog that I post because I've just been pulling it together lately, and I'm really proud of myself. But anyways, let's talk about what's going on in this current footage. I used to walk to Alfred all the time from my apartment because I lived, like, right in the middle of Beverly Hills, so there were so many awesome coffee shops. So obviously I had to do one of my final walks there. And I packed all day this day until I ran out of boxes and had to go get more. It's 5.45, Tuesday. I almost just said July 17th. Like literally, no it's not. October 17th and you guys saw me start to pack some stuff yesterday, but like I haven't even scratched the surface of everything I need to start packing. I have just been so emotionally all over the place the last week that like now I'm in the middle of the road. Why did Bed Bath & Beyond close? What the fuck is up with that? I was just driving around and I was like, wow, I can't wait to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Well, you're actually gonna have to wait a lot longer because didn't they just all close? What was up with that? Like that place rocked. Damn, that sports bar looks like fun. When I tell you I am deep cleaning my room and donating so many things and throwing out so many things and just decluttering a lot of items that I've just had with me since my first house. Like I am so serious when I say that this new apartment is a new chapter for me. I am putting in the work tonight to like declutter and get ready to organize my life and become a better person starting this weekend. I'm stuck in so much traffic right now. So let me just like get home and then let's keep this party going. In loving memory of my perfect bar area, even though we're going somewhere with like the exact same bar. Literally, there's no difference. It's, I think it's actually bigger. I know, I think it is too. And same with this, in loving memory of our gallery wall that we will just simply set up 
the exact same way okay. at the next one. <laughs> you're not even gonna be able to tell that we moved. I know. <laughs> you're gonna have comments and they're like, oh, you guys never moved? I thought you guys were moving. God, this poster is just so good. It's gonna be a long two days without looking at this. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Not me accidentally ordering a tiny ass wagon for my 900 boxes that we need to move right now. <laughs> this is not supposed to be the size of the wagon, dude. Oh no. Who in my building stole my fucking wagon? These take so long to ship to. Good thing roadway is coming on the 19th. Yeah, whoever you are that had the nerve, the gumption, and the audacity. Gumption. The gall, the gumption, the audacity to pull up in Caitlin's DMs to the picture of me getting ahead of the moving process to get some of the boxes into my car and said, huh, no roadway this year. Who do you think we are? Duh, we have a roadway. You've never even seen roadway before and you're acting like that? Never in my life. <laughs> like, I can't wait to meet them though. Literally, me being like, oh my god, thank god, thank god, thank god, thank god. <laughs> okay, we are gonna start with my bathroom now. I feel like I need to break this up in sections or else I'm gonna lose my mind. So let's start with my bathroom, which, like, I've hardly kept up with the past couple weeks because what was the point? So much shit everywhere that I need to just get rid of. I never come into, like, the third bathroom ever. We just don't really use it a lot. And I haven't been in here since the night of Tate's show where I just totally blacked out that night. I made some horrendous choices that night, but I just came in here. And do you remember my biggest vlog that I just uploaded? How at the end of it, I told you guys that I was so drunk I took my contacts out and for some reason flattened them onto the table in my hotel room. Please look at what I just found in here. Why do I do this? One is flattened and the other one is right here. I have no clue why I do this. The trash is literally right here too. Don't understand what my problem is. Why did I get undressed completely in the bathroom right by the door when I could have just gone to my room and taken everything off? Like drunk me is so interesting. James just picked me up and we got salt and straw ice cream. Yes, we did. And we are currently eating the best pumpkin. I don't even know know what this was. Some type of pumpkin ice cream. And now we're walking down WeHo because I wish I was a part of the nightlife tonight. Tomorrow though. Tomorrow we will be a part of the nightlife. Oh yes we will. <laughs> I will show you what I'm talking about then. But for now here we are. What a fabulous little break. Back from my little ice cream break with James and now we are going to try to tackle as much of my closet as humanly possible. I love this closet so much. It's like actually killing me to start taking things down. So when roadway moving comes they bring you these like hanger boxes where you can just easily take everything off the hooks and put them in this box and then take them right back out at the new place and put it back on so I'm not really like very concerned about things on hangers. I have one box of jackets with hangers on it. That's actually a box of only new jackets that are on hangers which is kind of ridiculous so I'm gonna put some more in there and then my main goal right now is to just throw all those shoes in boxes, put a ton of shoes that I don't wear anymore in a bag to donate and then just kind of go through everything again to continue finding more things to donate and oh my god I'm like really sad to take this closet apart right now but like it has to be done. It has to be done. God those built-in drawers in that closet were just the best thing that's ever happened to me. Packing that up was absolutely heartbreaking. Had to tackle the sunglasses drawer first. My pineapple sunglasses that I wore to Jimmy Buffett, I can't get rid of those ever actually because what the fuck? Are we sure Jimmy Buffett's dead? Like, are we absolutely positive? I still like can't get over it, honestly. And I need to stop talking about it right now because I'm gonna start crying. Anyways, here I am packing my heels. Super exciting, super riveting stuff. Here's Jack and I starting to tackle the bar. Even though I pretty much have the same bar in my new place, this bar, just walking by it every day was just so fabulous. And I really miss her. Packing the living room wasn't even that difficult because there really wasn't much out there, thank God. I would say my my room was definitely the most difficult thing to pack because my room is just an avalanche of items. These two cocktails that are the exact same recipe at uh, Sarah Swallow. <laughs> Way to go! No difference. But... <laughs> yeah! 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 Somebody help. I want this to be over with really bad. The worst part about moving is realizing that it's not just packing the boxes and getting them from point A to point B. You have to unpack them and put them from well, B to A. I can tell you this right now. We're packing them smarter than you did last time. Last time you moved, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard anything more accurate than what Jack just said. Last time I moved, it was a chaotic disaster. And this time around, I was really trying to go into this not as stressed and trying to feel more confident about the decisions I'm making. I'm just really bad with change. I'm a Libra. I don't know. Every single time I make a decision, I feel like it's never the right one. I did not want to be thinking that way anymore because it's exhausting. I want to be confident with what I'm doing. I want to be excited about the future and not feel like I'm losing my mind. Every time I move, I just kind of shut down. Some girlies are able to thrive and do a billion moving vlogs while they're moving. I'm always just like, I cannot even really make more than one or two videos about a move because what is fun about watching me be stressed? One night I was just sitting in my room and I was like, I'm 
I need someone to just give me answers that I'm looking for. Right now, I ended up finding the Yoda app. This app has just been helping me navigate this change and the ups and downs of the whole entire process because Yoda is an astrology app and offers astrology insight into various aspects of your life. It has so many good tools on it to really help you out. They have personalized astrology readings based off of your birth chart. And they also have a team of over 200 astrologers just right on this app ready to help you out with whatever. They're available 24 seven to answer your questions. And Yoda's astrologers are able to provide you with accurate predictions about love, relationships, career, finances, big changes like this one, and more. And they also have daily horoscopes. It's just a really good app that has so many insights to help you develop a deeper understanding of yourself. Also, the astrologers on this app are Vedic astrologers, which I think is really interesting. They've all got diplomas in Vedic science and treat astrology as sacred knowledge that they're willing to share with you and help you out with. You can ask any questions that you may have within the app, and they even have a catalog of prepared questions already to help you out with ideas on what to ask Yoda. Okay, ready? Here's a good one. What should I do for myself to become truly happy? Here we go. All right, now that my question is submitted, an astrologer is going to get back to me with an answer. Also, can we please acknowledge the insanely detailed response I just got? It took about two hours to get this response, but this is an incredible answer to this question. If you guys click the link in my description right now and use my code CaitlinR, you guys are gonna have the opportunity to ask the app one free question right now, but it's a limited time offer because normally you have to pay to ask questions, but you get one free question to ask that could really help you out in an area of your life right now. I personally suggest getting the subscription on the app because it'll allow you to ask many more detailed questions to the astrologers. You guys will have to let me know what you think. And with that being said, let's get back into the big change that I have been stressing about, but it's okay because I am just entering another fabulous chapter of life. Hello, good morning. It is October 18th. Roadway Movers comes tomorrow. I'm gonna go on a walk right now to one of my favorite coffee places ever called Bravo Toast. I'm really fucking lonely right now though because my friend Sarah, Salvory Sarah, Sarah Swallow, me and her always walk to this place together, but she's in Europe for the rest of the month. So I'm like so fucking lonely right now because Jack's at work. I think James is at work too. And I'm like, damn it. I wish I had a buddy to go get food with right now, but I don't. So I'm going to go by myself. Jack had actually gone to the new place this morning and found a giant dolly in the garage, which makes life so much easier. Since someone in my building fucking stole my expandable wagon, I ordered that tiny one that I showed you yesterday on Amazon and I can't find any larger sized ones for pickup today. And that was going to be a really big key. It just makes moving some of my things so much easier because hello shit is heavy. But Jack just found a dolly at the new apartment in the garage in the middle of like cobwebs and shit. I don't know. I feel a lot better about that and I think we're going to be able to get in pretty good shape here pretty fast. And then I have a white fox event tonight. So my goal is to go have a little treat, start my morning off with a walk, pull together the rest of this place, which I honestly think that I'm going to be able to do pretty fast. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. And I thought I was going to have to cancel on my plans tonight, but I don't think I have to. Let me go get a treat. on his way to help me right now. So I just realized that Roadway said they'll bring 10 large boxes and 10 medium boxes with them. So that's kind of a lot of stuff. So I'm kind of just figuring out what exactly to get rid of in this moment. This lamp I have had since my house and it wasn't even mine. It was Nicole's and it barely works anymore. So I'm going to take this apart and throw it out and get a new one because the top is all dented and it barely turns on anymore. Like I don't know how I still have this, but it's time for a new one. I'm just kind of packing random things into the shopping cart. And I think me and James are going to bring like stuff like this over breakable things that I don't want to worry about tomorrow. This is a suitcase full of our alcohol, so we'll move that right now too. This is exactly what I mean by like cleansing the fuck out of everything I own and getting all the bad energy from my past out of there. Like why am I still hanging on to this octopus that a guy that broke my heart won for me? Why do I keep this around me? This needs to go. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I'm getting rid of that table, those chairs that just like broke at the last apartment that we never even bothered to fix for this one. And then that entryway table because whenever I look at them, it just feels like my last apartment. Don't want that energy. Get it the fuck out. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Why is this falling over? God, wait. No, no. Jesus Christ. All right, here we are. We got, here we are. <laughs> we got so much shit in the back of James's car. I'm kind of thriving right now. Don't really think I need to make another trip today other than this. Maybe like one more, if anything. We got so much we shit. We so much in here. But James actually hasn't even seen this place yet, so. I'm so excited. Live reaction. <sighs> Literally live reaction. He's going to see my room that desperately needs to be painted. I decided that and for... <laughs> Forgot to bring that up in my video that I had just posted and somebody DM me because I posted on my story and asked for a painter and said that my room looks like a strawberry shortcake nightmare. So, so we're going to be fixing that. I have to go to Home Depot so bad and get like so many new bulbs and shit. Oh, why? Do you have like really bad overhead lighting? It's not like bad, but like I feel like... Is it like cool toned or warm toned? I think it's really, really warm toned. I, I think... feel like cool tone makes you feel like I'm living in a hospital. No, I definitely don't want cool tone, but like... It's maybe somewhere in the middle? Yeah, I just need like someone else's opinion because every time I go in there, I feel like I black out. And you're like not sure if you love it or you hate it. But it's, it's a great space, so everything's 
next of all. Yes, okay. exactly. I just like don't really know what to do and I'm gonna start figuring it out very fast as my shit starts to get put into my room. Oh my god. I know. Wait, it's massive. You're lying. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like what is this color? It's not the worst thing in the world, but like yeah, it's fucking annoying. Yeah, it just has to be fixed. It's just so Hannah Montana. I know. All your little shoes can go in I here, know, like your bags and stuff. I'm about to get to this part of my packing process that I've been really excited for for so long for some reason. There's so much just random junk in these drawers. So many things that I'm going to be able to throw out right now. It's about to be so satisfying. Like for example, all these bed sheets that are in here, I have not even put on my bed in a year. And they're really cheap Amazon sheets and like there's nothing wrong with that at all. But like time for an upgrade. I just don't understand why I've just had this sitting here collecting dust and doing nothing. What is this shirt? Oh my God. My aunt Sue got me this for my birthday. I need to put this in the correct t-shirt drawer because why is it even in this? Like what is this drawer? I have random blankets in here. I have a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville blanket, a Christmas Disney sweater. Oh, this shirt is like stained yellow. How is that even possible? I've never even worn this. Ew, more random bed sheets. Like what the fuck, Caitlin? Christmas pajamas. There are actually some things in this drawer that I should probably not show on camera right now. So like BRB. Look at how much trash I just accumulated from my room in like 30 minutes. That's like an offensive amount of trash, but oh my God, this is about to feel amazing throwing it down the trash chute. There's something in one of these bags that triggers me like so badly and it kind of hurts to get rid of it because it like represents like a big old chapter in my life. But like, I can't have this in my room anymore. It's such awful energy. So goodbye. Oh my God, I did it. I'm almost at a stopping point for the night and then it's time to go freaking party. And Jack is doing the rest. That's expired. That's expired. That's expired. That's expired. That's expired. Ah, not the veggie chips. So many expired apple cinnamon donuts. Oh, apple cider donuts. My bad. Jack and I aren't even gonna have a fridge for like the first probably week of living at this place too. Pretty much every single thing in our fridge has to be thrown out, which is just such an absolute delight. Another trash bag. Ah. Oh my God, my boobs are literally about to fall out. This is my last night ever getting ready in this room. I just got ready for the White Fox party. I'm like 30 minutes late. I have to go all the way to James, but look at my dress. It's really, really pretty and it's really long and I never wear long dresses like this, but you know what? I need to feel myself. So that's what we're doing and I feel cute. Tomorrow's gonna be craziness, but I'm gonna go try and have a little bit of fun right now because I think I'm in pretty good shape here. Without further ado, I'm gonna give myself a break. <laughs> Just like that, here's my last night ever coming home. Kind of drunk to this apartment. Uh, I could cry. I'm not ready for tomorrow. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, we got this. Here we go. What is this orange juice? This? What is that? Oh. Yeah, just wrap it, yeah. That's not really special. How about that? And write random shit on it? Yeah. Okay, you're kidding. Yeah. Is this just filming? Oh my god, is it? I yes, totally forgot. I think it has been the whole time. Hi. Hi. This is really chaotic, but it's fine. I'm in my work outfit, everyone. Make some noise for the work fit. Ooh. Oh, and don't forget White Fox turned 10 last night. White Fox most definitely turned 10 last night. Fear not, we have just done my photo shoot against the roadway moving truck. He was giving incredible commentary. <laughs> Creative direction. Nothing sexier than moving. <laughs> I'm just like trying not to cry. It's okay. Everything's gonna be awesome. I'm trying not to ball my eyes out. But it's fine because roadway moving's here. Thumbnail. I moved again. I moved again. You guys think I move every three months? <gasps> James is finding out if he has a ticket. There goes my desk off to its third place in LA. Wait, no, fourth. Me and that desk have been through everything together. All right, let's see. Not yet. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Today is really doing it to me. I am at my new apartment's parking garage and I am waiting for Roadway to get over here. James just had to go to work another day at Lululemon and Jack's at work, so I'm kind of just like doing this all by myself. Me and Roadway against the world, baby. Cannot even handle seeing that apartment empty right now, the old one. I'm just pissed. Like I'm ready for a new chapter, but I'm so, so mad that that one did not work out the way that I thought it was going to. Like I thought that that was gonna be like my forever apartment. I've never felt that way moving somewhere. Even with this one that I'm moving into right now, I already know this is not my forever apartment. This is a one year thing yet again but I really thought that this one that I just moved out of was gonna be my apartment for a couple years it's tough to let go of an apartment that beautiful I need to just let change happen and just embrace this and make this fabulous and that's exactly what we're gonna do so I'm gonna get out of my car now I cannot believe my couch is about to pull up to this place like what am, what am I even talking about I need to throw myself on the ground I can't believe that is it 
Damn, I wanted them to yell at us. <laughs> now they don't. Yeah, of course. Goodbye to my beautiful mirror. We'll get another one. Fears are expensive. I look like a mess. Look at the both of us. <laughs> Jack has to go plan a party and execute a party for the rest of the day. Too. But like, you probably think it's like, oh, like, cool, like 15 people, Chuck E. Cheese. I'm excited, but it's a lot. I'm about to do my walkthrough with my landlord. What I've learned the past three days is that I am getting back on antidepressants and I am changing my life. I'm not moving to one more place with the same issues I've had the past few years. It ends here. This was a beautiful chapter, but I'm gonna go change my life and fix my life now. Goodbye, goodbye. You were bigger than the whole sky. I wasn't capping about that either, by the way. I actually ended up starting Zoloft right after I moved and I'm about three weeks in and I feel so much better. I'm gonna talk about that more in my next video. It has been a couple days since I updated you guys in my new apartment because I've just been in a rush to really try and like unpack and get settled here and not really like glamorize it that much I've just been desperately trying to get settled in here I've been unpacking frantically I need to buy so much stuff it's like not even funny but anyways right now it's 8 in the morning and I have a painter coming here to paint my room all day long because this orange color is just not working for me they're gonna do my bathroom too thank god and I don't really know what I'm gonna do during the day because oh yeah also I dropped my car off off last night at an auto shop and I don't think it's coming back. I think I'm about to receive horrible news about my car. Not that I want to be putting that energy out there, but I just, I know it's coming. So I don't have a car and I might have to leave this apartment all day. So I don't really know what I'm doing with myself. So we're going to figure it out. Also going to talk about this more in my next video, but I ended up crashing my car about two weeks after this. So manifestation is real. Don't put that fucking energy that I was putting out into the world because my car is destroyed. I'll explain that later, but holy fuck. Yay, new TV. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't had a new TV. TV in three years. This is a big moment. Yeah, and your TV was um shit ass. <laughs> and now this one is Crystal UHD. You will not use these. No, I will not. Oh my god, you literally got the newest one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go big or go home. Because you have the new remote. <gasps> which is you're gonna lose easier. But. Oh fuck! I need to put like an Apple tracking thing on the back of it. Now we're gonna hire a task rabbit to come over and hang my TV up, and then also actually no, you said you do the curtain rods. I think the same person that does yeah. this can absolutely do that. hundred percent. It just needs to happen because I'm tired of being the naked neighbor. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, this is big. Lift it. A nice big TV. Wow. Oh my god. It fits the room. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. No, that actually fits that space like perfect. psychotically. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Good job. Yeah. Wow, that's gonna look so good. We're gonna stop here for right now, and I'm gonna give you a full apartment and room tour in my next video. There's just only so much I could show in this vlog, and also, like I explained a couple minutes ago, I needed to just focus on myself and take care of myself, like, immediately before I continued to vlog and put my life online, because I, I wanted to change some things in my life, and I have, and I feel fucking awesome right now, so. Lots to catch you guys up on in my next vlog. I am very excited for it, and I really missed you guys a lot, and I hope you're doing amazing. That's it for now. If you watched this video the whole way through, I love you so much, and I I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Someone just texted me swag right now. So true, so true. I gotta shut up because I wanna just get to the next video already. So ah, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you, I love you. I love you.